Imagine paying people no strings attached cash, whether they have a job or not. There's the need for a new kind of safety net. It's a utopian idea that some think could be the solution to a potentially jobless dystopian future. This wave of automation is coming and it hasn't crashed over society yet, but it's going to. In California, two experiments are being planned that could point to a radically different future of work. Stockton, California. Just five years ago, the city was declared bankrupt. Free haircuts today in the state. Today, unemployment is almost double the national average, and many people live paycheck to paycheck. Hello, how are you? Good to see you. But the city's mayor, Michael Tubbs, has a plan to combat an increasingly unequal and insecure jobs market. Starting this year, 100 residents will receive a guaranteed income of $500 per month, whether they work or not. The mayor's plan is inspired by the radical idea of a universal basic income, or UBI, an unconditional cash payment for all citizens. The experiment will measure the impact of these payments on the recipients' lives. Mayor Tubbs believes it could be the key to helping the working poor, those who have jobs but find it hard to make ends meet. If universal basic income works out in Stockton, you will see the poverty levels decrease. I do think there'll be more discussions about things like the social safety net and basic income for sure. The truth is one in two of every American can afford one $500 emergency, which means that the majority of the country is not doing that well. I'm the first to say that for three years worth of work, I ended up with nearly half a billion dollars. That is not how the economy is supposed to work. Chris Hughes is one of the people paying for Mayor Tubbs' experiment. He made his money as a co-founder of Facebook, but the online revolution he's profited from could mean rising insecurity for the workers of tomorrow. Now, he spends his time looking for new ways to deliver a fairer society. We're seeing massive growth in the number of part-time jobs, contingent workers, in the gig economy. And with that instability comes a need for a new kind of safety net of $500 a month in the background, every single month for people who need it, so that in the great months, you know that you're gonna be good. And in the months when work isn't quite as stable, you know you're at least halfway to making rent. Skeptics argue no strings attached handouts could discourage people from working. But Chris Hughes says research to date suggests that top ups have beneficial effects. When people get modest amounts of cash, they use it to improve their lives and the lives of their family. They invest it in themselves. Most importantly, people don't drop out of work en masse. Our generation is going to have to deal with tens of millions of jobs replaced by automation like self driving cars and trucks. Silicon Valley seems awash with billionaires eager to allay fears about an uncertain future of work. Fears stoked by the very innovations that have made them their billions. Universal basic income is one of these ideas that's been talked about and debated a lot. So we thought it'd be really good, given what we think is going to happen in the world, if we could get some data. Sam Altman is president of a Silicon Valley school for startups and he is about to launch the most rigorous experiment in basic income ever carried out in America. 3,000 people will receive either 50 or $1,000 with no strings attached every month for the next few years. Most economists argue a basic income would be just too expensive for governments to provide today. But Sam Altman claims the rise of the robots could ultimately have an answer for that. If the AI comes, the good news is the cost of goods and services come down dramatically because computers can do them so inexpensively. In a world like that, you know, we'd see effective GDP growth in terms of purchasing power skyrocket. In the world where the AI really does arrive, there will be plenty of money. 
supporters of a basic income, even believe it could change people's attitudes towards work itself. We're definitely going to have to redefine what we think of as work. But we've had to do that many times before. And one of the things that we learn in Silicon Valley is just how much potential some people have. And then if you can unlock that, if you can free them from having to work a job that they hate just to be able to survive, will create hugely more value for the world.